Hello guys, so welcome to KO Tutorials. So let's continue with the next part of this tutorial. So let's get started. So as you can see over here, we have started with the modeling of this particular interior over here. So let's continue that. So now what I'll be doing over here is like, uh, I'll slightly shuffle this a bit over here. I'll push this. here so I'll make a window over here so let's go into the modeling let's take a swift loop over here so if you look at it there is a lot of space over here so slightly will be shuffling that now I'll just go over here I'll put one swift loop over here I'll select this polygon and I'll just bridge that area. I'll take a box over here. So let's just take a box, slightly scale that, push it over here. So convert to editable poly. So select these edges. Let's go into connect. So let's put some connect over here. So select the vertices, slightly scale that. And now again put one more swift loop over here. So this way. So select the vertices, slightly push this up. So again I'll select all of the polygons over here. So select all the polygons. So we'll be definitely selecting the next side polygons also. And let's give a bit of bevel and slightly shuffle it inside and let's click ok alright so we'll be creating a frame now over here so let's take again a box over here let's take auto grid so slightly shuffle this out Convert to editable poly, select the polygons, inset it and slightly bevel it inside and click OK. Let's put one swift loop over here and slightly shuffle this out and let's give a bit of chamfer to it. So let's just duplicate it again over here. So now I'll go into the front view. So let's create these details. For that, let's take a line over here. So let's just take a line tool over here. Enable in viewport. Make it rectangular and slightly like this. To 
duplicate it and let's shift and make a copy of that and make one more copy after that slightly scale that let's take a cylinder so draw a cylinder over here so before we push this uh, I'll just convert to editable poly over here let's take a cylinder slightly drag it up and increase its radius reduce the height segments convert to editable poly and let's use a bit of bevel again extrude it That's it. So let's click, uh, give a bit of insert and let's just delete that part. Let's take a cone over here. Let's take a cone So I'll slightly shuffle this up and increase its height increase its radius and reduce the radius So convert to editable poly Control and click on the edges and let's give a bit of chamfer and let's click OK. So just keep on saving your file over here. So now I'll just go over here. Again I'll select. So definitely we'll be creating this. Individually also you can do that. So, I'll just take again a box for this books over here. Let's go to the top view. So, slightly I'll just push this up. Now, again duplicate that So we'll be modeling one side table. So let's take a box. Take a box over here. So side table will be at the height of the bed. So convert to editable poly. 
let's put one loop over here let's put one swift loop over here so let's go into the polygon let's insert it and and extrude it up it inside and click ok So you can keep the things over here, you can make a small lamp also if you want, that can also be done over here. So I'll go over here, although we have a lamp so we don't require a lamp over here, but you can uh, keep anything, you can keep some books or something or uh, glass or bottle or something so convert to editable poly select this edges and let's give a bit of chamfer select the polygons and let's give a bit of insert extrude it by local normal and click OK. So you can slightly rotate, rotate it if you want. You can just keep the book and just as you like. All right. So just save the file. So guys, if any doubts, please put it in the comment section over here. So we'll continue the rest of the part in the coming tutorial. So please like and subscribe my YouTube channel. So thanks for watching this tutorial.